it's your boy Seahorse with the DC Crew 2016 Week 11 Fantasy Football Recap, y'all. Hey, here's who were the winners this week. Win some Woodhead, Gronky Punch, Ingram Toenail, Leak to Zeke, Efforts It Bleeds, and Seahorse Run. Seahorse Run, Seahorse Run, Seahorse Run. Three teams are locked in the playoffs, Monster Hood, my team, and Leak to Zeke. So there's two spots, two buy spots on the line. And there's three teams who are out of the playoffs, maybe only two. Harambe team is on the edge. The top performer of the week was Kirk Cousins, owned by Monster Hood, scored 38.4. Um, he's the seventh highest scoring quarterback after 11 weeks. Fun little fact there. Marky got with Sharon, and Sharon got Sharia. She and Mikey had a facial scar, and Bobby was a racist. Then another Mikey took a knife while arguing, and Holly caught a bullet, but it only hit his leg. Well, it should have been a better shot. That was heavy. Uh, high points of the week goes to Leak to Zeke, who scored 139.1. To earn his third high points of the year, total of $15. Keep this up, it'll be your first and last season in the league. Take your $15 and buy you some of the really high-end toilet paper for your family. Give them something they deserve. Especially around Thanksgiving time. You're probably going to, you're going to need it. I know you. The match of the week was... Gronky Punch sneaks away beating Monster Hood 131.74 to 128.5. Latavius Murray got the job done um, on a Monday night comeback for Gronky Punch. AJ Green got hurt from Monster Hood, so safe to say his luck has rubbed off. Seahorse! Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, what's up guys? Miss you guys? Well, I miss most of you. Uh, first question. Which team had one of the higher draft grades, but has actually one of the worst teams? What's up, Spongy Johnson? The best draft grade went to Seahorse Run. Seahorse Run, Seahorse Run. Seahorse Run. I got an A and I'm currently in second place. Gronky Punch got the worst grade with a D, but he's currently in fifth place, so I don't know if Yahoo knows it all. Seahorse, who do you think had the best keeper this year and who had the worst? I'm not going. I didn't fucking like Turkey. The best keeper was David Johnson owned by Ingram Toenail, earning 267 points so far. The worst keeper was Jamal Charles owned by Effort to Bleed, of course. Um, he's got a total of 13 points. Yeesh. Yeesh. I know you don't like losing. Nobody likes losing. But who is that one person in the league that you absolutely dread losing to? What? I'm trying to make a fucking vi- What is it? Great question. I do hate to lose at anything, but more importantly, I hate to lose against anyone who gets lucky, like that thief Monster Hood who beat me uh, by 1.5 a couple weeks ago. Seahorse, do you play any instruments? What? What? What's in his- When did we get his fucking gerbil? Okay, last question here. Which person in your league you think has the biggest D but doesn't know how to work the middle? Um, that is easy. The Harambe team. He has two Ds, um, but he always using the wrong one. The only team <coughs> to have his D go on IR. IR means in rear. Whew. Hey Seahorse, thanks again for having me. Uh, good luck to everybody. I know playoffs are coming up soon. And Lee, I hope you're doing a little better this year, buddy. Take hey, I appreciate you asking the question, Spongy. Have a great Thanksgiving.
The game to watch is first place. Monster Hood playing fourth place Whittinson Woodhead. Monster Hood beat him by two points in week one. Another lucky win. Monster Hood the type of dude to sell salads to rabbits? He the type of dude to cut his toenails with a can opener. Winsome Woodhead, the type of dude to have barbecue stains on his boxers. And he the type of dude to buy a uh, canoopers pool. <laughs> this week, your boy Seahorse Run. Seahorse Run, Seahorse Run, Seahorse Run. I play a Rick Dicker. He beat me in week one. Um, one of my two losses and one of his three wins. So yeah, he booty. I need to win and try to get that buy spot. Um, speaking of buy, a wreck dicker, the type of dude to drink bush light. Uh, he the type of dude to wear the sunglasses strings to keep him up. He the type of dude to wash his car with paper towels. And a wreck dicker, the type of dude to make custom extension cords. And he has anal beads hanging from his rear view mirror. But that's just the type of dude I play. It's your boy Seahorse Run with the DC Crew 2016 Week 11 Fantasy Football Recap. Have a happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Run, 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 run.